uh, hello hello guys uh, welcome back to our youtube channel uh, gift varsity tv uh, this is your host gift Bozekana. Uh, i have a guest uh, today i see this beautiful lady wearing this beautiful uh, coat here uh, our future doctor indeed uh, can you introduce yourself uh, hi my name is bunolo mutelezi bunolo mutelezi what are you studying i'm studying medicine at bbch yeah. a medicine advanced university yeah. which year second year second year yeah. okay where are you from original i'm from northern cape northern cape yeah and all the way from northern cape you came to vets ne? yeah yeah how I mean, is it to be a vet, a vet student here? Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah. It's amazing. It's a. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, it's quite incredible. Okay. Yeah. So, which subject did you do in high school? I did medicine science, uh, life science, and some other optional. Oh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you did well in your uh, grade eleven and grade twelve, right? Yeah, yeah, I quite did well, but not so well in maths because I got like level five on maths. But you going your body in medicine? Yeah, it's got grace. You I know, mean, there are those with level seven; they didn't even make it to medicine. Yeah. I know, yeah. but then it's all God. Mm. I think it's like all God. You are a believer. Yeah, I'm a believer, yes. a strong believer in God. So yeah. it's God's grace shining upon me. So yeah. Yeah. So, what was the name of your high school in Northern Cape? Uh, Khalilizang Science High School. Khalilizang. So, you you applied for medicine I, I, here at Vets only or any other other institutions? I did apply for other institutions. They did take me also, so I came to Vets. With that level five. Yeah. <laughs> amazing, amazing, yes. amazing. Yes, ne? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you applied to other institutions, ne? Yeah. Uh, you also applied here at Vets like uh you were like no man I, I want to go to vets right yeah i wanted to go to vets yeah yeah that was the, your first option ever well actually the thing is i didn't even have like a dream university to go to so i just picked the best out of all like the first like this was the first uh uh university to just send me a message that they respond that early in the morning yeah i didn't even get my statement so they just sent the thingy and i was like okay let me go with that yeah okay so <laughs> how, how did you feel when you see that message now that says uh what's your name uh bonolo bonolo you have been admitted to mppch uh, at vet how did you feel i don't know normal neutral <laughs> i know you felt neutral <laughs> That's the thing. If you knew that I'm I'm getting here there. I don't know. I just felt neutral at that point because yeah. I was also nervous for the result for the statement because I didn't even see the statement. Mm. I didn't know what I did. Mm. So I just, you know. But you assume that I did well for the fact that I even received an SMS before even uh, uh, viewing your result. You were like, no man, I I made it there to medicine. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, man. Yeah. You you came to vets now. Yeah. You are a student. What changed now? Nothing. Are there any challenges you came across as a first year student oh. now? Because now is the adjustment uh, for you from uh, high school now. You are in university now. What are the challenges did you come across? Uh, the study methods, uh, finding people to study with, uh, like dealing with procrastination a lot of things and also being away from home being away from your family and then the thing is we were like fully online you didn't see your classmate you were not interacting with everyone you're just alone so it was difficult to deal with that oh, okay but how did you manage <laughs> i don't know how did i manage but you have people that you are studying with currently yeah like i met my friend hmm. yeah i uh, i met my friend last year so we started through the uh, the second term. I mean the second semester, sorry. We started through the second semester together. That's how I managed. And now it's much more better because I'm back at campus. I can meet other people. I can be motivated through them. Yeah. So, all right. Now, uh, what being a student taught you? Being a student as a whole, what has taught you? Challenges. Yeah. Like challenges and how to deal with challenges and how to overcome them okay yeah. guys I I, I I i would ask you what are the requirements of studying medicine at vets ne? but do you know uh, like what what should they do to ensure that 
I, I mean, you know, like there are many students who are trying, um, who are trying. But what what did you do in your grade uh, 11, grade 12 to ensure that you, you get an admission to the program at Vet University, especially? I don't know what I did, but then I studied hard. But then I will, my advice would be like, like work hard, like work hard. Try to get all level sevens. I know it's impossible, but try it. I know that I got with a level five. And to some people, it might seem unfair, but then to me, I only have like what to think. I don't know on your part, but then, yeah, just keep you on like, trying. Yeah, you felt like this this was your calling. Yeah. This was your calling, you know? Yeah, that was my thing. Yeah, we really love working with people. Yeah, I do, because people are wonderful. People are wonderful, yeah, right? Even some of them are just rude, but then yeah. it is what it is. But you're enjoying the varsity life and the varsity vibe and the you know i can see now you're wearing the left coat right now yeah uh, i just came out of dissection so dissection yeah oh what were you dissecting i can't tell you oh no problem it's fine sure. guys it's your research it's, it's your fine. research what they are, they are dissecting okay uh uh now uh any last words any motivational words to a grade 12 learner who's watching us who want to study medicine like look at them there they want to do medicine whether it's vets whether it's any other institution even if you did medicine other institution at the end you will be a doctor what can you tell them just to push push through push through and studying hard and believe in yourself and also don't forget god guys don't forget god don't forget god yes. do not forget god put god first above all and all things will be all right you'll get medicine with level five i'm kidding <laughs> you worked hard here <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. yeah okay uh you still have a long journey ahead of you yeah. Yeah? still have four years to come uh, but we wish you all the best with your academic journey uh, and become doctor Mutelezi. 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 all the best stay kind uh, stay beautiful thank you so much guys thank you. gift varsity tv here it's your gift po gift pozegana here your host uh thank you so much for watching uh all the best uh our future doctor here we were at vets university hosting live i'm still coming to other institutions smu up ukzn uct like all of the universities that offers uh, medicine in south africa and other courses that are are offered in an uh, other institution i don't do medicine merely i do other uh, courses that are offered here at first thank you so much on my side thank you for watching all the best with your grade uh, or even those who are still at university trying to get in i say good luck it's possible thank you